that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, the radicalization of the Republican Party by the Tea Party accelerates. That's what the Democrats call it. They're only differentiating themselves from the socialist anti-liberty agenda of the Democrats, which will actually make them popular. That's what the Democrats squeal and yell and beg and plead and say, whatever you do, uh, you know, don't be open pro-gun. So they've now got Mitch McConnell and others uh, copying Charlton Heston, raising guns over their heads at the big Republican CPAC meeting, saying, for my cold, dead hand, Ted Cruz comes out and says, abolish the IRS. Uh, there's uh, others up giving speeches about indicting uh, Holder and indicting the IRS heads and others. This is the type of talk that could lead to real action. And this is the way we could actually turn this country around. I mean, it can happen, folks. We're in the throes of deep corruption. And if the libertarian movement, the constitutional common sense Americana movement, the classical liberal movement, Notice I had Stefan Molyneux in here yesterday. He was calling us classical liberals. He's an anarchic capitalist. Why is he calling himself a classical liberal? Because that's, that's what Thomas Jefferson was, folks. And, and, and Thomas Jefferson would look at the Democratic Party and the Republican leadership and would literally declare them the enemy. If you go off real liberal versus conservative uh, systems. Conservative back in Thomas Jefferson's time meant you have elites that are by the law, don't pay taxes, and get their power from royalty. And a bunch of groups are protected classes and everybody else is a slave. Thomas Jefferson said, you know, that's a really bad idea. People say, well, he had slaves. Yeah, and he started the movement to get rid of it. Also had about 20 children with him. But the point is, is that it was the ideas that led to more liberty later. They were the trailblazers. It's easy 250 years later to point back and go, well, I mean, these people were absolutely terrible. But they were trailblazing in their age, and their ideas led to greater forms of liberty today. And more and more, it is about the definitions. We've got to get the proper definitions out there for people if we have any hope of ever changing things. By the way, uh, a bunch of establishment authoritarian promoting uh, publications uh, with White House connections like Media Matters and Al Gore's Al Jazeera Network and all the rest of them came out and went into complete conniption fits since last Friday when Tucker Carlson was on. They're still going today and yesterday. Uh, MSNBC, more reports. Young Turks, more reports. I mean, every day this week from what I've seen, people are sending me the clips. I don't have time to watch them all. I watch two. They are freaking out over the fact that I have pointed out something that's totally public. And that is the fact that the Democratic Party was the party of the Ku Klux Klan. The Republicans got the Civil Rights Act passed. And so the Democrats by the mid-60s said, we're going to lose everything if we don't branch out and double down and claim we're the party of minorities and give them a bunch of freebies. And... Sink, uh, Cirque, he's an interesting talk show host. I'm not messing up his name on purpose. Uh, Chink, Chink, I got it right. There you go. He did these diatribes explaining, now, Alex, it's true the Democrats were the party of the Klan up into the 60s, but the Republicans had the Southern strategy, and so they were the ones that were racist, and they flipped with the Democrats. Well, I said that in my rant. I said partially that was true because they were getting beat so bad. They said, fine, they've already got all the minorities that we actually were trying to free. We better go with the Southern strategy. That was Nixon 
That was Nixon in the late 1960s, and it was purely political. The point is it doesn't take away the LBJ quotes that are, if we let these, you know, N-words continue to be with the Republicans, it's over for our party. But we'll, you know, I'm going to get all this great society passed and we'll have the N-words voting Democrat for 200 years. And those are quotes on record. So guess what? We're putting together whole reports about this every week from now forever. We'll see how you like it. I'm going to have all the Margaret Sanger quotes, all of them. Chink. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Already Thursday, the sixth day of March 2014. I am Alex Jones coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas, Austin. We are going to be live here for the next three hours as we are all weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, live, rebroadcast on stations all over the country, uh, retransmitted. And then, of course, we return on Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. for the abbreviated Sunday live transmission. David Knight will be hosting the Sunday show this Sunday, but I will be Skyping in uh, for at least 30 minutes uh, of the transmission. And we're going to be premiering some investigative reports on that broadcast as well. 
Anthony Gucciardi will also be in on the Sunday transmission. Just throwing that out uh, before I forget. Uh, tomorrow, before I get into what's coming up today, and there's a lot, we're going to premiere here last Friday's 35-minute-plus sit-down interview with Tucker Carlson before he came live. And it was very unscripted by him and is going to be controversial. If you think the last Friday's interview that ended up being all over MSNBC, Young Turks, uh, every Democratic Party publication basically flipping out over it, if you think that that was uh, a uh, interesting interview, wait till you see this one. If you're a TV viewer, radio listeners will hear it premiering in the second hour tomorrow. It'll fill up because we've added a lot of documentation and video and audio clips to what I'm debating with Tucker Carlson to the 35 minute interview. So it's probably 45 minutes long. It will fill all the airtime of the second hour tomorrow. Of the second hour tomorrow. Uh, again, I don't really take full spring breaks where I take off five, six days with the family, but I take little pieces off. So I won't be live tomorrow myself. David Knight will be in, but you will have several reports I've been working on. The Tucker Carlson interview, John Bounds investigative report on the Democratic Party uh, and their ties to race baiting and the Ku Klux Klan. That's going to be premiering at uh, 1130, 30 minutes into the transmission uh, tomorrow. Uh, I never saw it until now. Uh, I'm going to get the filmmaker on. Uh, it's called uh, Runaway Slave that came out in 2012. We're going to play a trailer of that coming up. Uh, there's a black guy who actually uh, knows all about this uh, and uh, made a film about it, exposing it. My only issue is, is I realize more and more just how conscious the modern Democrats are and that they know all this. And that when we mention it, they run around like chickens with their heads cut off. Because the only way to defeat their racial division and race baiting and the race wars they're trying to start is to absolutely expose them. And they're scared of this. And quite frankly, the Republican leadership with Nixon and the Southern strategy starting in 68 on, they don't want this out. The Republican blue bloods don't want this out either because they want, they just flip sides with the Democrats and it was all basically a behind the scenes deal. So that doesn't get the Republicans off the hook either. It's just, these are the big secrets they don't want you to know. And that's what we do. We take the big hiding in the elephant, you know, hiding in the living room elephant that's sitting there, the conjoined donkey and the elephant and basically show what a monstrosity it is. We're here to show you the hat tricks. In fact, they actually got the promo for uh, Runaway Slave, uh, the film, we don't sell it, we should, I've seen it, it's excellent. Uh, in the shopping cart, InfoWarsStore.com. But uh, here's a plug uh, for that documentary that dovetails. Here's the trailer with the research we're doing and preparing to put out. We also sell the film uh, MAFA dealing uh, with the eugenics program and the Democratic Party uh, and Margaret Sanger and uh, what they've been doing since the 20s. So we have been exposing this for a long time. It's just that it really scares the system. So we're going to play that trailer in a moment. And then the big news uh, obviously, is Crimea Parliament votes to join Russia. That is a big deal. And you've got talk of sanctions, talk of not letting Russians fly here with their visas and vice versa. This is a new Cold War beginning. Absolutely no doubt about it. That story is up on DrudgeReport.com. Also up on DrudgeReport.com, four story down in the middle column. On Infowars.com story, Missouri teachers object to being shot during drills, Missouri students and teachers required by law to participate in active shooter drills. And I'm going to explain exactly what's behind this uh, coming up after we get into the Crimea situation. But because MSNBC, twice this week that I know of, and because the Young Turks, three times that I know of, and because all the big Democratic Party websites all week long, following the talking points of Media Matters, have been running around freaking out, making fun of us for pointing out the absolute historical fact that, that Eisenhower got the Voting Rights Act moving forward, uh, the um, Civil Rights uh, Act passed with Republicans, and it hurt the Democrats so bad that they then came back later and supported it. It brought in the Great Society. We have all the racist letters of LBJ and all the rest, and we're just going to put it into a bunch of special reports especially now that they're running around claiming that we're deceiving people. 
and going, hey, the Southern strategy, you know, the Republicans said they were going to target the South. 